How does Divine Truth Organisation disperse its funds? Well, um, perhaps the best way to answer that is, is to answer how it disperses its funds in the last financial year. Um, and that's probably the best way to answer that question. So probably what I would like to do here is go through the accounts for the last financial year so you get an idea of how it dif disperses its funds. In the previous financial year, this was the year that ended 2011, we had a loss, so we spent too much money and that was something that we needed to address. We had a loss in the Divine Truth organisation of $52,000. In other words, we spent more money dispersing things than we spent getting in. So this year we had a total income of $209,260 coming into the Divine Truth organisation. That was made up from interest and rebates, which are very minor. We had significant donations from eight families of $135,000. We had seminar donations of $55,000 and we had internet donations of $16,000. So the $209,260 were made up of those particular donations. And then we uh, disperse those funds. How we disperse those funds is as follows. Myself and Mary had a personal income uh, taken out of the funds. So, and this is what we live on. So my personal income, my tax inclusive income is $11,000 for the year. Now, if you put that in context, the average Australian income is $69,000 a year. So I actually earn uh, or disperse to myself less than the average Australian income by a factor of seven almost, <laughs> or six at least. And actually my income is less than if I was on unemployment benefits in Australia. Um, now Mary's personal income was $5,000, so hers is less than half of what she would get coming in if she was on unemployment benefits. Myself and Mary don't believe that we should be on unemployment benefits. The reason why is because we feel quite strongly that if this divine truth, uh, this effort to distribute divine truth to the world cannot support itself through donations, then we need to just go out and work and not do it anymore. And we just live our life by it. Um, and it obviously means that the people in the world are not ready for it just yet. In addition to those personal incomes, uh, myself and Mary's personal superannuation was $1,536. So our total, myself and Mary's total disbursements from that income was $17,536. Then we paid uh, Lena and Igor Shakhanov some for editing the DVDs, YouTube and a lot of other things they do. We wish we could pay them far more than we'd paid them uh, during the year but uh, we paid them $10,500. So they basically um, received the same amount, just a bit under the same amount as I personally received from the donations. Then we had travelling expenses of thirty-five or nearly $36,000. We had uh, computers and software of around $8,500. We had DVD production of nearly $12,000. We had motor vehicle expenses of $10,000. We had sound equipment maintenance expenses of about $11,500. And then we had sound, video and computer equipment purchases of $46,900. And then we had some other miscellaneous expenses about $5,000 of. Now that all adds up to $157,428 of expenses, which gave us a profit this year of $51,832, which paid for our accumulated loss last year <laughs> of $52,274. So we ended up with uh, accumulated profit and loss of $442. So now this year, we're happy with this year because we've broken, at least come close to breaking even. The problem in Australia is that if you have a, a, a loss every year for three years, you have to actually close down the company. So, so we are very happy that we've had a loss uh, a profit this coming year rather than a loss as we did last year um, so that we can keep the company, Divine Truth Company, open and running. <laughs> um, as you can see from our expenses, um, myself and Mary receive very little of the money that is donated. Um, of course it would be handy if we receive some more, um, but we live quite comfortably, we feel. We would love though to be able to give more money to the people who help us voluntarily 
And at the moment, um, because of the amount of expenses that we have uh, and the amount of income coming in, that's very, very difficult to do. The, the truth is also that last year we received on the average uh, around uh, $50,000 a quarter in terms of uh, you know, every three month period, which we managed to finish up purchasing a lot of material and goods that we needed to get things done. Um, this year we need to purchase less of that, but, but we haven't been giving people like what we would love to donate to people who are assisting us to get things done. And, and in addition, uh, obviously we live very, very tight as well, generally. So, so um, what we're finding this year though, that our, our, our income has, is one third of what it was last year. So at the moment we are receiving what we received in a quarter last year. It's looking like we may receive in three quarters this year. So we're, we're looking at having to probably scale down a lot of the things that we do this year as a result of the donations being much tighter this year than last year.